Welcome Capricorn, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of May the 13th to the 20th, 2019. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing to them. But please be sure to click that bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on open air on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Capricorn on the planet. But if it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will direct you to my, my website. Also, all the other information is written below. You will also see that the Pay It Forward limited time offer will be expiring at the end of May this month. So, I truly wish to thank all the people that stepped forward that honored this and came to me and trusted me to do a reading for them. Now, you still can come in at this price for a second reading or you can pay it forward and gift it to someone that you feel could use this help from me. Please know that you can bank it, you can book it, you can bank it and use it later at this price. But it's only in effect, it expires the end of May. Okay, my beautiful Capricorns, your all over energy here is the 10 of Earth. I love tens. Tens mean completion. Tens mean things have come into fruition. Tens mean that things are happening. Actions going in a direction. And this direction, my beautiful Capricorns, is a positive one. I love pentacles. Pentacles have to do with have to do with abundance and being grounded and starting on a fresh new journey and new positive direction and money coming in. This signifies a really happy home life for some of you. Things are working out in your favor financially as well. You have that security coming in and you're going to be able to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you're going to be able to celebrate and have some fun. Beautiful, beautiful energy of good energy, good vibration coming in for this week. But my goodness, Capricorns, what's going on? You've had a tower moment. You've had this life experience that came in, stopped you in your tracks, banged you up against a wall, and you didn't know which direction you were going to come out fighting with. This is all about building a new foundation. This is all about learning from the past, letting it go, moving on a new, in a new forward direction. It's a powerful revelation that does change, does lead you to change, and I want you to embrace that change and know that you're going to build a stronger foundation and learn from those lessons from the past. It's time to spread your wings, beautiful Capricorn, and move and fly in the direction that you want to go. You've got this abundance coming in. It can happen. You've had worries. Capricorn, you've had concerns about money. Um, you know, it's, it's feeling, and also feeling of loss, feeling that things aren't working out in your favor, you know, total, uh, the total lack of confidence, and all of a sudden, you know, you, you have to realize that you need to change things, and there's help out there. We have options and directions to go. He's moving forward because he got help. He's got crutches and she's trudging along worried that things aren't going to improve. So I don't want you to have these fears. If it has to do with finances and money, please know that it can change. Okay, this, this is what this is about. Go seek out the advice and, you know, uh, the wisdom of someone who can help you with this situation. Lawyer, uh, your banker, your financial institute, whoever, your investment company, whoever that you need to go to and have a talk. Sometimes it's just a matter of tweaking your budget so that life is easier for you. Get over the loss. You need to let this tower moment go. If you feel you've been betrayed, you've been ghosted, someone's walked away from you, from you and you feel like you've been tossed out into the cold, let this go because this is the all over energy that can come into you this week if you let it go. You're still carrying on here. This is, you know, you're still worried. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. Uh, you know, this is the five of water. This is the five of cups. This is, you know, still carrying that energy around in your head, that vibration, that headspace. It shouldn't be there. That, you know, the gloom and doom. Things aren't working out. I had to deal with this. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm worried about money. This could be a legal issue, but I want you to stop it, okay? Because this is a five of cups, and it tells me you still have cups here to be filled. That Don't look at the negative. Don't look at the losses. Look at what you still have and what you still have to gain, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so... It's what we call crying over spilt milk. When we know we can change things, we can move in a new direction, we can rebuild a stronger foundation so that we, we can leave this feeling of insecurity behind and know that at the end of the day, we're going to get our success, our abundance coming back into us. Wow, it seems challenging for you this week, Capricorn. 
I don't usually get three challenging cards all at once. And you guys know me. Most of my card readings are extremely, uh, you know, 380 degree flips in a positive direction. But remember this. The all over beginning energy is that you can have this happy home life. You can have financial security. You can find the magic in life again. And that's what this represents. The all over energy. All you have to do is get rid of that feeling. Okay? Alrighty. What have we got here? Well, you've got two women, first of all, and you've got a beautiful card of luck in the middle. This woman may be coming forward, okay? Or it could have, you know, this, or this could be you. Um, you know, this is a person who's gentle, they're compassionate, they're understanding, uh, they're contemplative, they love to, you know, they got great imaginations. And you know what? This could have been over a woman, this, this tower moment, uh, this significant, you know, uh, a change that came into your life, this powerful change that came into your life. But sometimes when these moments happen, she has a gift. It could be a blessing in disguise, okay? Because, you know, here you are, worried about situations, worried about money, feeling that you've been deserted, and you've got the four-leaf clover. This is that energy that you can have. Wrap yourself in this energy, this beautiful four-leaf clover of good luck, and get rid of those thoughts in your head. Now, this is someone who's very open, someone who's very honest. This is why she looks like this. She wears her heart on her sleeve, and she's straight up. You know when you go to this woman that she tells it as it is. There's no gray matter. It's black or white. It's this way or that way. And you can trust her. She's very, very trustworthy. She's loyal. And she calls the shots. And this could be you as well. So stop worrying about this spilt milk here. Wipe it away. Move forward in a more positive direction, my beautiful Capricorns. Let's see what we have here now with this, with our beautiful answers from the angels. So there's, there's an issue here where if you're dealing with challenges, you need to communicate clearly, okay? You need to let your story out. Let it out clearly. This situation requires very precise and careful communication if you're dealing with these kinds of challenges this week. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In person, discussions are preferable. But, you know, really... If that's not convenient for you, Capricorn, all right, or possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. It also indicates that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge in your life for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone starts moving forward again. So this could be what this was. I told you, you can change this. So it's it's clearly communicating, and you can change this moment of, you know, a parting of the ways of, of not being around each other. This tower moment, perhaps, you know, I said it could have been, I, uh, you know, look a gift horse. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It could have been a blessing in disguise, or it could have been over a woman's situation. But if you communicate clearly, this is what you'll get. You'll get the good luck. You'll get the good... Uh, the good vibes again. You'll get the good uh, energy coming around you, being sent to you universally and divinely. So communicate clearly, my beautiful Capricorns. You're great communicators. So I, you know, you're like the Gemini. Um, you know, you're, 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 you, you are amazing when it comes to communicating and uh, conveying your thoughts and, your, and what you're thinking to other people. Now, here you are with the beautiful owl, okay? So the owl is following your own intuition, trusting your own instincts here. So, you, you know, you hold within you some of the qualities and traits of the owl, my beautiful Capricorns. You may have fine-tuned your intuitive abilities, that sense, that sense of inner knowing, okay? Or you may have become strong-willed, perceptive, and wise. Learn from the silence of the owl's spirit, which offers lessons of stealth and poise in our everyday lives. If you are about to take on a new business venture or go out, uh, you know, uh, out of some parts of your life that are no longer relevant, uh, or let go of some parts of those things in your life that aren't relevant. It is important that you become more observant. You cannot fool the owl as he is aware of his surroundings at all times. With this message, you can follow your goals to prosperity and heed these qualities to live your life to your dreams. Wow. Okay, so here we are. We had our tower moment. We've dealt with it. We're moving on. We, we, you know, we have someone in our end of the ring, you know, where we can rely on them. They're honest if we need to find out any information. This tower moment may have been over a female or it may have been over, you know, a friend, a family member, whoever, uh, a lover, a partner, whoever. Um, but, you know, she has a gift and this can be looked at two ways. It may have been a gift in disguise that this tower moment happened. You needed to see this. Uh, this moment and now you're building on a new foundation things are going to improve here all over energy is fantastic you're going to see happiness again in your home and in your finances stay wise okay 
keep your eyes open. Don't uh, don't be fooled by anything. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. And communication is paramount. Well, my beautiful Capricorns, this is your reading for the week of May the 13th. And I want you to remember the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and always know I only stand in this circle of love and light for you always.